there is no book talk in india so i just consider instagram and the reels that i watch to be my book talk and one single quote from book talk from instagram made me that buy this book made me spend money on something that i know nothing about because i did not even do any sort of research before buying this book why would i do that why would i spend money on something that i know nothing about let me tell you why i feel like when we are children we have so many wants and desires and passion to live a life we have the need to gain love from the people that we love from the people around us we want them to love us for who we are and accept who we are go out into the world live the world we have dreams as we grow up and for some people it starts very very early unfortunately from their family members we grow up with rejections when it comes to the love from the people that we want love from we face so many rejections from the circumstances of the world sometimes it's not even anybody's fault and over time slowly and slowly as we become adults after facing so many rejections so many unfortunate circumstances we just completely forget our belief that we deserve happiness that we deserve what we need what we want and they are bare minimums we start to believe that we are not worthy of those things that it is a sin to even desire anything we completely lose the ability to feel something to desire something to want something to need something and this one quote that i read straight took me to a place where i was like i wish i could tell everybody this i wish i could tell this to myself at all times because i struggle with this too and i feel like all of us do as human beings if you're an adult even if you are a teenager actually all of us do forget this one thing this is the core it's not weak you know to feel things deeply to want things to need i do not know who said this to whom i do not know what this quotation is about at all i have a zero context as to what is going on in the book itself but i read this quote it inspired all of these feelings and thoughts within me and i just wanted to see what exactly was going on in the book because i love this quote i love this message and this is something that i would want to say to everybody i love that it's okay to feel things it's okay to want things we don't have to be ashamed we don't have to feel like we feel too much or that we are too sensitive or that we shouldn't be feeling like this it's okay to have need even if they were not given to you and you have come to believe that you're not worthy of them anymore it's okay to feel things it's okay to want things and so i went ahead and i bought the book and the book i'm talking about is the four winds by kristen hanna kristen hanna is also the author of the nightingale which is i think her most popular book and i also have another book by her which is called the women which i think released this year itself the reason i read books is because of the feelings and the thoughts and the validation sometimes that it, it inspires within me and if one quote itself has inspired so many feelings and thoughts within me i wanted to see what an entire book can do and i wanted to document this entire process for you guys so that you can see that while reading for entertainment is amazing maybe sometimes some books can be completely life changing and they can validate you and they can make you feel things that you never thought you would when you read ink on paper in this video i'm going to be reading this book i'm going to be drinking lots and lots of coffee because that is essential and we're going to see if it was worth it to buy a book after reading just one book talk slash instagram quote let's go. hey you guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing very very nice and i'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you hi if you're new welcome to the channel i really hope you enjoy the content and if you do please do consider subscribing i am so excited for this video because i am done with the first chapter of four wins and i have already already highlighted like almost the entire first chapter literally the first paragraph is elsa walcott had spent years in enforced solitude reading fictional adventures and imagining other lives in her lonely bedroom surrounded by the novels that had become her friends she sometimes dared to dream of an adventure of her own and while my solitude is not enforced i have very well chosen it and my and i am not lonely i just choose to be alone they're talking about me not just that there are a couple more quotes from this chapter itself that are so relatable not completely because again my situation and elsa's situation are completely different but they are so relatable that i think i have already developed a relationship with elsa for example she wakes up and she does not know where to go 
there had to be opportunities out there but but where would she find them and suddenly the library books held the answer to every question that is so me oh my god elsa is a beautiful woman at least i imagine her to be beautiful who has i think suffered some sort of sickness when she was younger when she was a teenager or a child because of which her family is insanely overprotective of her the end of the chapter makes me feel like they also are not just overprotective but sort of don't like her and that too for absolutely no reason elsa was trying to talk to her dad about how she just wants to go out and feel pretty and do some very 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 normal nice thing and he started calling her hysterical while elsa was talking to him completely normally in a very casual sweet polite tone and, and at the end of the chapter elsa has cut her hair a little bit and her mom is like you cannot leave the house till your hair grows out to be long again and elsa is like young women are wearing bobs mother not nice young women elsa i will bring you a hat i just want to be pretty elsa said the pity in her mother's eyes was more than elsa could bear which means i feel like her parents her family has been making her feel ugly incompetent hysterical crazy weak i am going to read ahead this is the bookmark that i am using i really hope you can see it it is ganeshi and it's metal and it has a tassel and i love tasseli bookmarks and the way they fall on the book like this especially because i don't know if you can see it but there is golden lines in four when so the golden lines in there with the golden tassel is looking really pretty i'm going to go re read a hit i am very very excited about this one something out of context but if you don't want to hear what i'm reading you can skip ahead i'm going to put time stamps over here i just cannot believe what i am reading elsa is the one feeling this in her heart she did what she'd always done she disappeared but all the while she waited prayed that both her husband and her daughter would some day see how much she loved them and they would love her in return until then she dared not to push too hard or demand too much the price could be too high there was something else that she hadn't known it was only possible to live without love when you'd never known it i i just can't i literally can't and what is scaring me even more is that i'm on freaking page 66 right now okay this book is i think around 500 pages and this is all that i have read till now it's brutal i hope you can see me clearly i'm around 100 pages into the book and i feel like something is going to happen if that happens i do not know how i'm going to survive this book okay what i thought is going to happen did not happen probably for the better but what has happened is actually hurting me way more yet again out of context you guys already know the kind of relationship elsa has with her parents and now after the dreadful thing she folded her arms over her chest as if she was a corpse being washed and readied for burial and stared up at the dusty ceiling all those years all those prayers all her hope that at last some day she would be loved and then blah blah because i have to keep this out of context was gone the hope was gone her parents had been right about her all along no 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 i'm going to cry i'm going to cry no they weren't no they weren't elsa is the most beautiful person i've I literally just woke up and my first thought as soon as I woke up was oh my god Elsa I have to see what she's going to do now I couldn't dare to pick that book up yesterday after what it did to me at night I really wanted to read ahead but I also want to savor the book I just had to come to terms with it that she's feeling like that and come to terms with the fact that she is not a real person she's a fictional character I made a reel on Instagram which was like when you are reading a book and the character is so adorable but you can't hug them so you just hug the book I actually hugged the book and I slept that's how much I wanted to hug Elsa I think the only thing that I'm going to do today 
is make my coffee right now and sit and read for hours and then shower and then sit and read for hours but at the same time i'll probably not finish the book because i said i want to read it slowly and savor it but oh my god i did not know i'm getting into this i actually genuinely thought that i'm making a very cool youtube video i saw this quote i wanted to order the book and i was like hey you know that's such a cool youtube video and i have to read one book so let's make it as soon as possible and i couldn't wait to read the book it was just and now that i'm into it i'm in i, I am now realizing that i'm in for a lifetime of an experience which is amazing and i'm so glad but i'm also so scared to read ahead all these feelings and expressions of everything that i felt and i still don't think that i was able to cover everything <laughs> so many more characters in the book that i wanted to talk about but i did not want to give a spoiler it's an amazing feeling when the first thing you want to do as soon as you wake up is get your coffee get cozy and read the book that you have been obsessing over second wind and i am about to start with the third wind of the book which is 1935 so the book is not actually divided into winds it's not called winds but it is divided into four parts and the book is called four winds so i've decided to just call each part a wind i have a feeling that it has some sort of connection with it i finished the second wind i went to the gym i've come back i have showered again and now it is time for me to get ready a little bit which just means i'm just gonna tie my hair and stuff like that and then i'm just gonna sit and read ahead before going to the gym i was definitely feeling a little bored but while I was walking on a treadmill in the gym I was just thinking about the book because I basically can't think about anything else right now and and I was just thinking if I was actually bored when I was reading it or was whatever Elsa is going through just so suffocating that I was also suffocated myself because there's just so much torture that not just Elsa but also the other characters who even if they're not the main characters are very very important to the story are going through I just cannot believe that Elsa is going through what she's going through it's very hard for me to read about it because I have seen the kind of person she is and I have this connection the strange connection with Elsa and she is the bravest kindest amazing most amazing person fictional character that i know since the first page i built sort of like a kinship with her i feel like she has a part of my soul but is trapped in a body and in a time that is completely unfavorable to her nature itself is unjust to her not just her i mean everybody in that time and everything that is going on and it just really hurts me to see how strong elsa has to be even though all she deserves is a soft life filled with passion and pleasure because she deserves it she deserves it she's just that kind of a person she's amazing now i'm going to go ahead and start with the third wind read ahead see what happens because things probably are going to look up now and i really hope that they do then i went to a coffee shop to read the book enjoy myself and i stumbled upon the quote that actually made me buy the book towards the very end a good moment i came back home i read the book more i finished the book and cried my eyes out i think i look really ugly while crying but it is what it is And when I was done with the book I was thinking did I finish the book or did the book finish me I am done with the four winds by Christian Hanna and I just cannot believe what I read I did not expect myself to react like this to this book because it was a nowhere and when I mean nowhere nowhere on my radar the only reason I bought the book is because of the quote that I saw on Instagram and I have a feeling that I may just do this more often which is like if I see a quote on Instagram maybe buy the book I don't know because if this is the surprising 
anything effect the books that I buy like that will have me then I may do it more I don't know if it is the right thing to do but I may do it more at least personally you have already seen me cry my eyes out I can actually cry right now because I cannot believe that happened but at the same time it was so happy but at the same time it completely wretched me i i don't know i was overwhelmed with emotion it was just one of the most beautiful endings ever if i am being objective about the review as a recommendation to you guys i don't think it is the kind of book for example like kite runner or book thief that will connect to everybody or actually more accurately a thousand splendid suns i feel like those books are insanely intense the writing style the writing style in this is not intense but the impact of uncontrollable unjust things happening to the characters is on the similar level which is why I'm comparing this book to those books so I think if you like A Thousand Splendid Sons to be the most accurate you will really like this book it talks about motherhood it talks about female friendship it talks about love but at the core it talks about how you may not even realize that you're being your complete self but who you are is who you are and nobody can take that away from you. I just am also shocked by myself by the way because the starting of the video everything that I said I had not even read what the book is about okay I did not know what the book is about at all I had not even read the first chapter and yet I actually described the vibe of the book perfectly my intro of this video is the vibe of this book so if you enjoy that vibe mixed with a lot of sadness and heartbreak but at the same time a lot of joy and hope this is the perfect book for you it is powerful it is hopeful on the other hand it can be really slow and as i said it's not the kind of book that will connect to every single person i think i had the kind of reaction i had because i just connected to elsa so so strongly she literally was a real person in my mind but if you don't connect to elsa then this book can be very very boring because it gets repetitive here and there. It was not boring for me though because I actually genuinely love the book. The only thing that ached me a little bit was the love connection. Every time there was a love part in it, the romantic love, though it was not romantic at all, but the love part in it, it just happened. And I'm like, when did it happen? Where did it happen? I did not see it happening at all. While all the other relationships were built so well, whenever it came to the romance, it was built like in two sentences. And I just don't understand how and why that was happening. But then I was thinking about it and I was like, maybe the book is not supposed to focus on the romance love side of things. And that is why it was not elaborated enough but i do like it when i don't have to force myself to believe something the writing makes me believe something so that was the only thing that was missing for me but i don't think i'll even consider that when i am thinking about this book because it's just so much more than that and i loved it i loved it so much if you liked this video if you liked some of the quotations i have read and if you feel connected to elsa but at all i think you should definitely give the book a shot i think i got it for around 350 rupees and it's going to stay with me for a lifetime so if you want to give it a shot give it a shot i think it is worth the risk because i also took a risk and it was successful for me with that we come towards the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i have not done one of these videos where i'm talking about only one book since a very very long time i think since two three years so if you guys like these kind of videos let me know because if i only have to read one book in a video i can make way more videos you know that is good for me plus i really really enjoyed delving into one book completely and dedicating myself to it up to it and talking about it in such depth with you guys let me know if you guys like videos like this with one book only or if it was too boring boring i don't know just give me the feedback if you did enjoy the video please do like because that helps me understand what you like even if you don't comment and subscribe i'll see you guys again very very soon bye